Hello Navigator, in this video, I am going to talk about the speckle background of the radar. I want to explain what is speckle background. As you can see, this is the on ship position here. And all around it, some shining stars type, you can see. This is basically known as speckle background, which is suggested by uh, maritime guidelines you should tune the background or ppi such way so that you can see the speckle background and you can see the kind of uh, bar is moving around making 360 degree rotation you can see i i believe you can probably see this one clearly yeah one more thing uh, for tuning sea and rain uh, as you know sea works up to three mile okay Sea clutter is to be used when there is a sea disturbance, like due to bad weather. And rain clutter is to be used when there is rain. And rain clutter works for the whole PPI. So that is what uh, is the difference. And that is what is the purpose of sea clutter and rain clutter. This looks like kind of uh, clouds are seen, clouds are seen on the PPI. So you don't want to see the clouds, of course. So, little bit increase of rain is required during clutter. I'm increasing. And as you can see, it's disappearing at the same time. Speckle background is still available, still there. So, you, I want to use this speckle background, you can see. At the same time, you should see the antenna rotation slightly. And I can see it very clearly here. Okay. So, this is the speckle background. And if you want, uh, you can, let me show you, if the C is reduced, C clutter, uh, this speckle background now uh, turning into, you know, the kind of uh, Eulish one. This Eulish one, if it is too much, then we, will, we may miss some of the target or object. So, we don't want to use this much Eulish one. That's why we want to increase a little bit C. So that it remains only as bluish speckle background. Again, you can use as how you are seeing the object or the targets. Like here, there is a target. And I, if I cancel it, this is radar data only. If I cancel it, you can see. So you want to see the object clearly that's the purpose and if you need and if you have the AIS interface available this is the AIS interface you can switch it on and then you can see the AIS marking as well just to show you and you can see here AIS marking is there never use this AIS data for collision avoidance purpose. This uh, target is basically now no more required because my vessel is going uh, ahead and this is already at the back. So let me cancel this one. And I hope this video is helpful for those who need it to understand the use of C clutter, ring clutter, how far it works. And this basically speckle background is. Thank you so much for watching. See you in next video.